EA Sports. It's in the game. What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Road to Glory Carrier Mode series with Portsmouth. In this series we try to take a low division team and try to build them up into a Premier League winner and the Champions League winner side and this is the biggest challenge that I have ever done on Carrier Mode and I will also live stream in this series so we can move the series quicker. But let me know, should I include like three or four games in each episode with less highlights or should I include uh, two or three games with more highlights in the episodes? Let me know what do you guys want. And we made already two very very big transfers just to remind you, Lacko is uh, the first one, he has brilliant pace. And he also has four star weak foot, he is an English uh, right winger but he can play striker and left winger and 64 finishing is pretty decent and the other talent is recommended by you guys. By the way you can still recommend me transfers in the comments below, Van Bergen is the other player that we signed, the 92 acceleration, 83 uh, sprint speed and uh, 58 finishing but I'm training his finishing, he can play right wing, left wing. So he's another very very good attacker and we already have Chaplin at the club who is uh, another very decent striker as you can see with decent uh, pace and decent finishing. So we signed Lecco for a two year loan and uh, Van Bergen also on a two year loan. We at the moment are looking at loan deals because our transfer budget uh, doesn't allow us to, to sign anybody permanently and you guys recommend me two midfielders Jadion Zalalem who is uh, at Arsenal he's also up for a loan and uh, we need center midfielders so let's try and bring him in on a two-year loan future fee should be maybe 1.5 million I don't want to overpay on that so yeah let's let's offer them let's offer Arsenal a two-year loan spare oh boy boy we can't afford his wages apparently and yeah let's move down the transfer budget we don't need the transfer budget anyway because we are we are trying basically to sign players on loan so let's see can i have something uh, the offer now yes i can no i can't but the other center midfielder is josh onoma who is uh, at the moment uh, tottenham at tottenham he's 19 years old english cam but he can play right midfield, he is a little bit off pace. Not sure what his future fee should be, let's offer them 2.3 million. Can we afford the wages? No we can't. Oh damn, that's a bummer. Really really disappointing. Marcus Edwards is also a very talented young player, but he's 60 rated. So Henry who is playing for, who is at Brentford I believe. Let's try and bring him in on a two year loan. And let's offer them like 1 million future fee, you know what? Let's offer them like 900k future fee. He's another really, really promising English left back. As you can see, he has brilliant acceleration and sprint speed. Really decent tackling and marking and uh, good dribbling as well. Now we arrive at the last game of the preseason group stage, preseason tournament group stage. We absolutely have to beat Sparta Rotterdam, uh, and then we can. We should hope that our goal difference will be enough. Let's try and beat Sparta Rotterdam. We need a big score here, but I believe in this team. Let's go, boys, with the two new signings making their debuts. Welcome to the last preseason tournament uh, group stage game. We are playing in the Amsterdam Arena. No. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Ooh, ooh that is so close. Oh, Chaplin. Chaplin is in. And he missed it. Ah, oh, that's the problem with this team. The finishing is not the best. But I expected him to at least hit the target. It's a great run by Chaplin. No. Oh, what a run! What a save, keeper. Brilliant. Oh, come on. Please. Are you kidding me? And they missed again. Oh, come on. Ooh. Come on. Oh, brilliant! Baker! And the rebound is... Oh, come oh please. Surely! Van Bergen! Yes! Of course! In the Netherlands, the Dutch striker, Dutch winger, gets his goal on his debut. And hopefully that's the first of many 
from Van Bergen. He's a brilliant Dutch talent. You guys recommended him to me. Please. Stevens, hit it. Wow, he missed the target. Fantastic build up play. I think it was the left back. His finishing is awful. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful Chaplin. Go on, Chaplin. Yes. No, I can't get there. No. I don't know what to do. Ford saves me. And he had a clear shot at goal, but our goalkeeper comes up huge. Please, guys. Don't no! Oh my goodness! No! Oh boy! Oh my word! Ah, they missed it! What a debut for this young player, Michel van Bergen, Dutch guy in the Netherlands in the Amsterdam Arena, scores the winner. Not sure if it's enough for us to qualify to the knockout stage, but I'm still happy that we beat Sparta Rotterdam, who are, who are a Dutch first division side. Guys, we have done it! I can't believe it! Somehow, we advanced to the next round, we collected only one point in the first two games. We have the same amount of points, same goal difference, same goal scored, the same everything, and somehow the game puts us ahead of Sparta Rotterdam. Basically, on head-to-head -head result, I think we advanced, because we have beaten Sparta Rotterdam and that is massive! So so happy because this means that we can collect more money in this preseason tournament and that could mean more signings and we are playing against I think Espierg and yeah also we were lucky that Willem Twe have beaten Peterborough if Peterborough wins that game maybe we, we were we would have been out and I'm training my frontline Chaplin, Lecco, Van Bergen they need to improve and I'm training them. Hopefully they can improve their finishing and I'm also training their dribbling and positioning and ball control. And they are getting good marks, especially Van Bergen, so happy with that. We get a one-year loan offer for a 52 rated center midfielder who is called Christian Oxlade-Chamberlain. I'm not sure if he's related to the Arsenal player. But this is massive. For a small club like Portsmouth, we have virtually no transfer budget. To get almost half a million pounds from the preseason tournament is huge. I also shorted I also shortlisted Chuba Akpom, even though he only has 78 potential. His current stats are pretty impressive. He's a lightning fast player with decent finishing, but I'm waiting uh, for his scout report to come in and then hopefully we can make a move for him. Let's try and loan him in. Uh, I don't think he's on massive wages. Because we got a little bit of money on the transfer budget, we can adjust the wage budget and bump it up a little bit. So now let's go in and offer that 700k for Chuba Akpom. So first of all, a final report came in for the left back that we are going for, Rico Henry, and Henry, and he's 65 rated, his value is 800k. And look at those stats, look at that. Incredible physical attributes. He is lightning fast, great agility, balance, and his stand tackle, tackle and slide tackle is also pretty decent. So he's an absolute dream of a left back. Brentford replied to our loan offer and they are thinking about it and they politely declined the, uh, the offer. So maybe they want more money. Let's offer them 1.1 million for Rico Henry. I will bump up the, the future fee. Birmingham are not loaning, not uh, they are not wanting to loan Che Adams. Maybe if I offer them like big money, they maybe they will change their minds. But maybe Che Adams is a very important player for them. I'm not really sure on Bur Birmingham City's striker situation. Oh my God! This is massive, absolutely huge signing. Reese Oxford, one of the most talented young English centre backs. They are allowing us. West Ham are allowing us to have him with a, for a future fee of 1.1 million. It's absolutely huge. Reese Oxford is 66 rated. He's better than all our defenders at the club. So Reese Oxford, welcome to the club. And for 1.41 million, surely in two years we can earn enough money to sign him permanently at the end of his loan spell. But to get him for two years, 
That is fantastic! A brilliant deal! So happy about this! And I, I shortlisted all the players that you guys are recommended to me and one of them is a very promising Oliver Berg. He's at RB Leipzig at the moment, Red Bull Leipzig. Let's try and get him on a two-year loan spell. He's, his salary is not very high, only 11.5 million, which, which is brilliant, which, which makes it a very likely transfer. Let's offer them 1.6 million, just a little bit over his uh, current value. And again, he's 19 years old, he's from Scotland. Patrick Roberts, his finishing though is not as good as Oliver Berg, that's why I'm going for Berg, because he has 66 finishing, very good acceleration, 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, uh, and, and he's a pretty strong player as well. We already tried for Zalalem, we just can't afford his wages at the moment. We also tried for Onoma. We haven't tried for Ryan Gould at the moment, but he's on loan at Setubal from Sporting Lisbon, so we can't really we can't really go in for him. So these are the players that I'm going for at the moment. I know it's uh, very ambitious. Let's try uh, for Jordan Pickford, who is a Premier League goalkeeper. I'm not sure if we are able to sign him. Maybe. Maybe we can't even afford his wages, yeah. I think go the goalkeeper situation will have to wait until maybe the January transfer window. Then hopefully with the cup runs that we are doing, hopefully we can afford Jordan Pickford. But that will be it for this episode of the Portsmouth Road to Glory uh, Carrier Mode. In the next episode I will include a lot more games, but I just have to go out to, to the city. My dad is in town, so I'm having a meeting with him and we are having a nice chat. But I will be back in the evening, so more career mode videos are coming your way. I will also cover the Middlesbrough-Liverpool match. Really excited to watch that Premier League game. And I, I'm, I might also live stream my fans on live reactions. So if you want to see that, leave a, leave a comment and leave a like if you enjoyed this. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.